So I'll say again on camera, like I've been saying to you about 60 times, uh, you made one of my favorite films of the year. I can't say enough positive things. Um, everyone sure should go see can. it. You can keep going. Okay, the movie's amazing. Uh, I have, I, don't I mean, stop and put right. it in put it in right, written form. But so yeah. la last night I got to do something. I got to go to your party last night, and I want to start with. Um, so if if we can see, and I'll put it on the screen. This is a photo of you with Harrison Ford. I, I saw it. Right, I now, was there. Exactly. So <laughs> the thing that's amazing about this photo is Harrison is really happy and smiling. <laughs> and everyone is asking me, how did this happen? I said, it was Mangold. It's not me. He, Harrison is, I mean, he doesn't care about me well, at I all. Well, I produced Call of the Wild that he's in, too. So that we've got to know each other quite well working on that. And, um, and I knew him before that because we've often talked about working together. And uh, we get along. But Harrison's a happy fella he's not he's not all darkness sure i think that a lot of times he's like he comes across as like growly because you know what i mean <laughs> yes but like he is but i have to ask you can you me too l listen you've worked with some amazing actors and you've always delivered these amazing performances with people do you with someone like harrison who is fucking harrison ford do you sorry for the language do you still get like that thrill of oh my god it's harrison ford or does it sort of not because you've worked with such amazing people. Does it sort of all? I still get that thrill with all of them. It's just that it's uh, honestly I've worked with. I mean, Bob De Niro, Vanessa Redgrave, Russell Crowe, Christian Bale, Matt Damon, Harrison Ford, um, uh, on and on. Angelina Jolie. You get a, there's a moment where, but you can't. Meaning you can't go. Oh my God, I'm driving a Lamborghini and drive a Lamborghini. You have to actually drive the car or you go off the road. So there's some point where you realize I better direct this movie and stop watching myself from a third eye admiringly. Me, um, and that if that makes any sense, you have like it's either here I am, I'm directing them in a movie. I can't sit here like a fan and watch myself. I have to get involved and do it or else I'll make the worst movie sure. this actor ever made. Well, I'm curious though, when was the last time you were sitting across from someone? Do you ever get like that excitement as just a fan? Like you're not working with them, but you're like, that's Harrison Ford or that's, does it still hit you? I'm always thrilled to meet uh, people who, who kind of have blown me away or kind of been inspirations in my life. And Harrison certainly would be one of them. But then you, you, you know, I've spent weeks and weeks and weeks hanging out with him on sets. So it's kind of... I, I, I get it. One of the things, though, so Matt's performance and uh, Christian's performance in this are both so spectacular. And you have had such spectacular performances with some of your uh, other uh, films that you've done with other people. I'm curious... What is is there a common element with all these actors that you sort of noticed that makes them who they are? Do you know what I mean? Like, is there like that? Well, there's several different things. I, one is, I mean, I, thank you. First of all, it's very kind um, in terms of the quality of the performances. I I try hard to create an environment where that happens, and there's several different things you can do to make that happen. In my opinion, one is recognize that actors aren't professional liars, they're professional truth tellers. And what I mean by that is that if you look at acting as lying, then you're missing the whole point. Acting, they have to become it, and they have to believe it, and they have to make people, even looking at them from six inches away with a gigantic lens, believe it. And in order to do that, they become experts in being truthful, in really feeling it. And therefore, they're also experts in bullshit. And what I mean by that is that most movie stars live in a world of people telling them, you're so awesome, that was so great, even when they know it wasn't great. All the time, you're so great, you did that so great, your joke was so funny. And they know, even though they act like they love it, they know when they're getting bullshitted. And I think most great actors I've ever worked with like the straight dope. Sometimes it disappoints them, sometimes it's not what they want to hear, but in the long run, they want to have something real. They want their director to be real and awake and looking out. Even the greatest actors in the world have bad takes. Even the greatest actors in the world sometimes go off on a tangent in a scene. Someone better be there in my position to corral it. And they're grateful when you are because it's like you can't have a football team without a coach. It's all part of it. And um, so that is one thing, I mean, in that, Bob De Niro taught me a long time ago on Copland when he, I was a young director and he, he said to me, I want to be directed. Don't be shy just because I'm Bob De Niro. I want to know what you think. I want to give you what you want. And that 
gift to me back when I was 30 with him was the realization that even the greatest among them loves the collaboration with the director. And it gives you permission to tell them the truth and be honest with them and push them as hard as you can. Sure. Uh, there is a scene where, uh, and I'm not doing spoilers, but there's a, a, a fun fight scene, if you will, between yeah. Matt and Christian, where uh, Christian's come back from getting groceries. And when you see these two actors, you're normally seeing them in these big movies where they're kicking so much ass and they're indestructible. But it's these two guys just who love each other but are mad at each other. What is it like sort of filming that kind of a fight scene where you're trying to make it as realistic as possible? Well, it was actually the thrill, and both guys were so into it. The thrill was to make, at times they called it their pathetic fight sequence. But, the, but what they really felt about it was a realistic one, meaning that both of these actors have participated in countless hyper-choreographed fight sequences and um, have come to the point where they probably recognize the inherent artifice in them. And that um, the joy of making what actually two guys really look like when they're bruising around on each other, trying in the way that many fights are, people really don't want to kill each other. They're somehow just taking out a shitload of aggression on each other, um, as brothers often do, um, or friends. And that um, that was what they're trying to capture, the kind of fraternal brawl. Sure, it works. Uh, That's there's, good. There's one of my favorite scenes in the film, and I, I don't want to spoil the specifics, but it involves um, Tracy and Matt driving. Uh, and uh, how can I say this without ruining anything? But it's, they're, they're on a drive, uh, on the track. Um, and it's, yeah, I think you could say that, that, that Matt takes Tracy's, uh, Carol Shelby takes, takes Henry Ford II for a bit of a wild ride. Yes, that's the best way to say it. Um, talk a little bit about filming that scene and the, the way you film it at the end because, I mean, it brings the house down. It's such a great scene. Yeah, well, thank you. It was, uh, well, it's, it really credit is to Tracy Letts and Matt Damon. I mean, I put them in a car and um, we, we, it was on the biscuit rig, so they didn't actually have to drive, but someone was driving from up above and put them in a, in a put, drove them at high speed through a slalom and then spun out on a dime and they did the scene live with the cameras connected to the car. So it's all just one take of that scene. Uh, yeah, I gotta stop there. I'm just gonna say that uh, when people see it, it it's, uh, Tracy is so awesome in that scene. Tracy's great. Uh, the acting in this movie and the actors are top notch. I mean, you have a cast with John Bernthal and Josh Lucas and Katrina Balf on and on where any one of them would be the lead in a lot of movies. And they're all, um, they're all happily part of this ensemble and great.